We are doing a collaboration today to keep it simple uh, Sunday. This is my first collaboration, so I'm hoping I do very well. Um, so what I did was I went to Dollar Tree and got a few of these uh, mason drawer, jar ornaments. Mason jar ornaments. And I cut some foam board into little circles to give it a little step up. Because you couldn't see the miniatures when I put them inside the bottom of it. So I figured this foam board would give them a little bit more uh, room to the top so you could see it better. Um, so I did that. And I cut all those circles out. And then I picked up a few of the miniatures just to have a variety. Um, I liked one thing out of one and one out of another you don't have to do that you can just buy one um, there you can make a few out of just one package um, I just wanted to have two little figurines inside um, so what I did was I used my glue gun you can use the E6000 uh, instead it just takes a little bit longer time to dry um, and I just wanted to get it done a little bit faster so I glued them to the foam board and the inserts and then positioned my little figurines on top. Put in some of the artificial snow from the Dollar Tree and screwed them shut. And then I looked around to see if I had any scrap ribbon, which I did. So I tied bows at the top, which made it just look, you know, a little cute, simple, very easy craft that you're, you and your child can do together. So that's the reason I figured it'd be easier. That's why you can use a glue gun or you, instead if you don't have one you can use the E6000. The host for this collaboration is Melissa Makes It DIY. Thank you very much for inviting me today. This is DIY number two. So I have a galvanized um, steel um, ornament from the Dollar Tree and I went to the General Dollar Store and found these uh, clean decals for your windows. I also got out some paint um, and some painter's tape, which I hope you have at home. And I masked off the top and made it look like a little, um, like, lid on top just to give it some detail and painted the rest of it um, steel from uh, Waverly paint the steel color of Waverly paint I don't know why I can't say that today <laughs> um, so I painted the first coat to it and then I let it dry a little bit and then I painted another coat to it because it just seemed like it wasn't sticking so I needed to do at least two coats to it just in the steel color. Let it dry um, and then came back did the second coat and while it was still wet I took the decal and laid it on top of the paint and it sort of just sealed it together which made it pretty easy. <laughs> I didn't have to use any any glue because it just stuck to it. Um, so it's sort of like water when you do your decals on your um, on your windows. The the paint was the water, which was perfect. So I let it dry um, and I came back to it. I put a couple snowflakes on it just to give a little bit more details in some of the voided areas that it just needed. Let it dry and then. Um, went and got some of my um, charcoal black and some white and decided to give it some um, barn look or the wood look because the decal had like these little stripes in it and you could see the stripes on the actual decal so I decided to make it look similar to wood uh, which made it look pretty good I mean it sort of fit in with it uh, so I was really thrilled about that. Then um, I let that dry. I did take some red paint and a little bit of charcoal on the top area uh, to give it some detail. And then I also took some red glitter paint just to cover over top of the red. And it just made it look a little pop. It covered up that galvanized, you know, metally look.
and for some reason um, the decal is very glossy so that's what I did I took some matte Mod Podge and just painted over the whole thing after I painted that so that way you wouldn't see it um, and still it's a durable little sign that you can hang outside on your door Thank you for letting me be part of your collaboration and please look at the playlist. There's a lot of other great creators here on uh, YouTube and they really need to be um, watched as well. I mean, I'm still very new at this, but there are some great people here. Please watch them and please like and subscribe to everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Robin. And this is Coco. This is our 50th cut. Mm. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. Please comment below. That way she don't have to do this no more. Okay. Hope